Hi everyone, this is Imran Nemu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I am going to show you how to create an interactive pricing table on your WordPress website using Go Pricing Table plugin. So let's see how to do that. Here I am on the dashboard of my WordPress website and I am going to navigate to plugins and going to click on add new. And here I will just click on this upload plugin button and I am just going to drag and drop the plugin file. Here is the plugin file. I'm just going to click it and just drag and drop here and hit install now button. Well, now I'm just going to click this activate plugin button. As the plugin has been activated, you can see Go Pricing menu has been added on the side navigation panel of WordPress CMS. And from here, you can see the sub menus go pricing general setting import and export add-ons and update firstly i'm just going to click on go pricing and here goes the sample pricing table i have created so i'm just going to delete all of this now you can see the brand new plugin here goes the all the navigation sections here goes the create button here goes the import export add-ons help and settings okay if i scroll down here goes several buttons so firstly i would like to create a table what i'm going to do just click on this create button and here you can see the option of the table i'm going to build so i'm going to name it test table test table and I'll have to provide an ID for this table here goes the tooltip and if you read you will understand the ID will be used for the short code okay so the ID should be unique I'm just going to put a random number okay and if you want you can put any thumbnail image for this table but it's optional not necessary so i'm going to scroll down and you know if you want to create a table you will have you will you know if you want to add a table you will have to add some column first here is the column here is a column and here goes the rows okay so i'm just going to create a basic column like this basic plan so i'm just going to click here and you can see add new column okay our column has been created so this has several setting options the first one is general and header body and footer in this table this is header and this are the body and this is the footer so here goes it if i click on the general section or if i click here and all the settings will be expand if i click again here it will collapse okay just like a toggle i'm just going to click on this plus sign and firstly i'm just going to choose this basic style column style but here you can see several style at the moment i'm recording this video this plugin has this style okay i'm going to choose this or so this okay and here goes the layout style highlight column if you want you can highlight any column disable hover or uh, i'm just going to keep it deactive disable in large okay and main color i'm just going to keep the default hit apply hit this close button and decoration just click on this pencil icon and a pop-up panel will display here it says shadow style and and it has five options okay shadow style on shadow style 2 i'm just going to go with shadow style on and sign type if you want to use any sign like any ribbon 
clean ribbon okay or you can use classic ribbon and sign of the ribbon save you can see or 50 percent whatever well i'm just going to work with whatever new something new alignment it shows left you can show on right also and you can put any link or open the link in new window i'm just going to happy with i'm just going to complete here just hit apply and hit close now I'm just going to work with the animation transition just fade in or you can slide in left okay duration of the animation delay easing in easing out okay just hit apply close now it's all about general i'm just going to minimize it and for header i'm just going to choose this style circle standard new okay hide back header background you can use any image for the header background okay so hit apply and title that will be the title it will be basic hit apply and price price type i'm just going to work with price only not html content and price will be usd and first price is five dollar and payment basically monthly hit apply okay that's all about header section now it's time to time for body now it's time for body and here you can see all the columns here you can see all the rows of this column i'm just going to add some row here you can see a button add row just click on it and you can see a row here you can see row two here you can see row three row four row Five. I'm just going to work with just five rows. So now come here on this first row and you can edit, clone, or delete any of the row. So just click on it and here you, you can see the content of the row. I have several dummy content 10 GB storage. I'm going to paste 10 GB space here and when you mouse over over it you can display the tooltip so I'm just going to focus on SSD put SSD and if anyone hover over here and it will show SSD hit apply okay hit close and row to 100 GB bandwidth for tool tip I'm going to choose bandwidth and horizontal al alignment you can put it middle top bottom etc okay just hit apply close and for row 3 I'm just going to get the content again 100 email address five subdomains apply 
I'm just going to complete the last one number five five databases it apply close it now I can preview what I have done okay just click on this preview button okay I have to save the file first I'm going to click on the save it has been saved now I can preview it okay the table has been created well now it's time to work with the footer so I'm going to click here and add a row and edit the row at the bottom of the table column you can see select plan or sign in or parses just the call to action text I'm just going to write here Process and I'm going to put a link here. Just say, for example, I'm going to put this link. So hit apply. Anyway, here is an option open in new window. If someone click on this purses button, then the link will be open in a new window and it will be a no follow link just hit apply again close it so i'm going to preview it again okay hit save button now i have created only one column but what i'll do i'll just duplicate this column to minimize the time i require okay before i do that i'll have to okay now i'm going to duplicate this column okay so that i don't need to waste time creating new column i'll just duplicate this okay duplicate again okay duplicate again four how many there are only three but i have taken four hit save now now i'm going to preview this here goes the table at the moment okay now i'm just going to use this short code on any page just copy the short code here and create a page I'm going to name the page go pricing and it's a extra thing activated I'm going to choose no sidebar and full with content I'm going to paste the shortcut here. Here it is, and hit publish. So view the page again, and here goes the table. So what's wrong is I can't see the table header. Okay. Now I'm going to work with the skin and style. The skin is clean, but I'm going to choose classic. you can manage the tooltip with tooltip background color i'm just going to choose this bottom green tooltip text color white hit save now i'm going to reload this page and now you can see 
the table and if anyone click on this button then it will bring here okay you can see the tool tree now you have many options to customize or change the design i just showed you in a short video how to work with go pricing plugin now come here and see the layout option here you can see you can manage the column space uh, there is no space between the column but you can set 20 pixel so reload again and you see column space 20 pixel so it's quite easy to work with this plugin and responsibility responsibility you can manage the width of any particular device view animation and custom CSS okay now get back to the name and ID again from here you can just change the text of each table okay so if you uh, I mean if you want to change the text here first one is basic I want to put this advanced so come here just click on the header and edit the title to be advanced hit apply now and uh, now we are going to update the price price will be ten dollar hit apply okay i'm going to save it and now refresh here you can see now it's basic this one is advanced and price is ten dollar you can change all the text of these rows okay and you can also change the button color okay i'm not going to make this video so long finally before i finish i'm going to show you the general settings just go to the general settings area here you can enable or disable as asks for the plugin like preview mode etc many setting options currency us dollar you can show pound uk pound pound sterling currency position left or you can put it right here you can see currency position is left you can put it to right and thousand separation decimal separation number of decimal etc so hit save and public access okay custom css advanced settings etc so now i'm going back to the area where i created the table now if i click on this co pricing again here you can see the table i have created now you can preview here okay or if you want you can export this table you can use this table on any other website if you just export it you can also duplicate this or clone the whole table if you clone this table you can get instantly get a table like this i'm just going to click on this clone button hit ok and you can see it created a duplicate table like this one okay and just if you want to edit this table just click on this pencil button and come here you can just edit update delete anything if you don't like this column just hit this bin button or bin icon 
it will be deleted are you sure to are you sure are you sure you want to delete the column okay now if you want you can create a new column also so that's all about this plugin i hope i could make you clear about the go pricing table plugin it's super easy to use and work with this plugin if this video helped you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching